let me show you a fast, easy and convenient way to design your thumbnails, invite for your clients, video presentations, some video effects you can also do on Canva in this particular video. My name is Glory Rex. I'd love to share amazing videos here on YouTube to basically help you guys get certain things done with ease. So keep watching this video because this video is not left out of my amazing content. So keep watching. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Rex. I am a poet, a content creator, and a sound engineer. All I love to do here on YouTube is share basic information, live experiences. I also create fun videos as well, all in attempt to help you guys get certain things done with ease and to share with you some information that you may not be aware of. So that's what I love to share. I'm going to leave the links of some of my videos in the description box. You can check them out. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. That is just to support my efforts here on YouTube. And to my returning subscribers, thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos regardless of whatever I post. You guys help me even bring more subscribers to my channel. I love you guys and I'm very, very grateful for all you do for me. Thank you so much, okay? So let's get straight into today's video. So as a constant content creator here on YouTube, I use Canva to catch the attention of my audience to watch my video. Okay, what is a thumbnail for somebody that is not aware of what a thumbnail is? A thumbnail is a particular picture that helps illustrate to people what exactly your video is about. I am against clickbaits, okay? So whatever your thumbnail says, that should be in your video, okay? That's what I feel, all right? So what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today, I'll create my thumbnail in this particular video to show you guys how I've been creating my thumbnail with Canva. I'll show you guys how to create your invoice for your clients because I know creatives like us, sometimes we need to present an invoice to a client and you're wondering, how do I get that done? Don't worry, we're going to do that together in this particular video. Just sit down, watch till the end and also let me know what you think in the comment section. Also, in addition, we are going to also create some video effects just to make you guys know that you can also edit your video on Canva and I'll show you guys how you can do it, okay? So keep watching, relax and enjoy this particular video. So guys, note that Canva is an online design platform. That means you have to be online to design whatever it is you want to design with Canva. And also, Canva has the free version of certain things and also the limited access, which is their premium package. That's where you get to pay for certain things you want on a particular project or whatever it is you're designing. But what I do most times is I create my design from scratch. So that way I don't get to pay to use any particular thing. I just stick to the free things I have access to. Okay, so guys, come see what exactly I'm talking about. So just like I earlier mentioned, you guys can see there are the free versions of certain things you can use here on Canva and these are the things that are on premium, okay? So know that there are some things that are watermarked. So for you to remove them from being watermarked, you likely have to pay for it, all right? So let me show you guys how I create my own things with the free elements available. At this point, you should please click the subscribe button if you have not clicked the subscribe button just to help me keep creating videos here on YouTube because it's actually not easy, okay? So please support me. For beginners that want to use Canva, the first thing you need to do is to sign up, which means you just create your account, okay? And that's way, voila, you've opened your account on Canva. It's actually free to sign up, it's user-friendly. Before you know it, you start to create your designs like a pro. Just so that you have to learn and, you know, see some of the things I will do here so you can also help yourself as well. Just like I mentioned, there are lots of options, designs, and templates for you to use. So now let's create the thumbnail for this particular video. As you guys can see here, I use Remove BG to isolate my picture from the background where I filmed, okay? I know that this can be done online as well. I downloaded some Canva templates online to better illustrate exactly what I want to design.
just like I earlier mentioned, the thing about Canva is that you can be creative, okay? So I noticed right now that my earring actually got affected when I used Remove BG to isolate my picture from the background where I filmed. What I did was to just creatively blend everything with the background in a way that it looks nice. If you want to see how I did that, just request in the comment section and I'm going to create another video dedicated to that. Because I don't want this video to be too lengthy, so I'm just trying to explain to you guys certain things that you can do with Canva okay
So what do you think about my thumbnail? Please let me know in the comment section, okay? So most times I use lines to create sharp edges around my thumbnails. I tried to make this video as detailed as possible but the most important thing is just for you to keep exploring and keep learning and keep growing as well. If I want to teach you everything, one video is not going to be enough and I'm still learning myself and also exploring as well. The next thing we are going to create now is an invoice for a client, okay? So guys, let's do it! These are samples to actually guide you or give you an idea of how to create an invoice. So it's now left for you to edit an existing template or create your own template. So anyone that works for you is fine. So far as you just edit well. Everything here is editable, okay?
the last thing we'll be creating for this particular video are actually video elements or maybe effects you may want to add on your videos using Canva, all right? So the first thing you need to do is just upload that particular video on Canva, okay? Then you start to add any effects that you want. So let's get straight into that, okay? Like I earlier mentioned, Canva is actually free, user-friendly, and also anyone can create like a pro. The only thing you need to do is just keep using the software and also learn how to do things by yourself and also go online. Check what other creators have done with Canva. I hope you really enjoyed this video like I enjoyed creating it for you guys. Basically to help anyone struggling with how to get a thumbnail done or how to get a quick invoice for your clients or basically do any other thing that Canva can help you get done. Okay, so that is why I created this video. I remain my humble self, Glory Rex. Thank you so much for watching till now. And I hope you have subscribed to my channel already. Please, if you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. It's a red cute subscribe button below the video. Turn on post notification. When I post a video, you are notified instantly of my amazing videos. So guys, I create videos weekly. So please come back and watch another amazing video, okay? So now let's create the final thing which is actually the thanks for watching. So the thing about creating a particular design for thanks for watching is that it has to be appealing. You need to like express yourself. Also it's okay to add your social media handles on the background where you're designing your thanks for watching. The most important thing I'll just tell you is to be creative as much as you can when using Canva. There are no rules. Just make sure that you are happy with whatever you have done. So I'm going to sign out here, guys. I'll see you in another amazing video. Bye.